All right, this is a relatively serious video. Not drama, but this has to do with Alicia X Life, who has her main channel back. Main channel and second channel, they are back. But she got hacked and there was a lot of crypto scams going on. Apparently, people were spreading misinformation about what exactly happened. I want to know for myself. Alicia has been a friend in the channel. We're always raiding each other on Twitch. She makes great content. I have nothing but respect for her. But I'd like to hear exactly what happened. And I think that I should be watching this video because this one I don't think explains the uh like the misinformation of other content creators you know just like trying to farm random shit but this one actually is like more in-depth so that's why I'm watching this one I am back but not fully I got hacked yep me Alicia got hacked on both my channels Alicia X Life and Alicia X Death she is a reaction channel by the way just like us she uses a VTuber model and she uh, does react content now you may be wondering, oh my goodness, Alicia, it's been so long. What happened? Well, let me tell you, because every goddamn VTuber news channel sucks ass. <laughs> and they all make up their own lies and fan fictions about, like, what happened to my channel and what went on. Uh -oh. So let me tell you what actually happened. And what <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Alicia X Life hacked. If we search this. How many? Was there, I, I want to see the VTuber channels. She got hacked. She got hacked. I don't know. I'm just trying to look at like who, who, who farmed her and spread misinformation is kind of like what I want to know. What's going on currently? All right. Let's get into the VTuber news about myself. Let's get it. Anyways, by the way, if any reaction channels want to watch this, you're more than welcome to. I really yep. don't give it. Reacting. Oh, cool. Boop. Anyways, first off, got Alicia X death back. That's how you're currently watching this video which is my second channel that I made a while mm -hmm. back. We lost I mean, a few thousand subscribers, but we're back, which That's is good. really awesome to hear. Yay. Starting off with the good news. Now let's head into the bad. How the fuck did she lose subs when she got hacked and her channels were down? Well, no, Alicia X, no, no, no. Both channels, I think, were taken down at some point. They, they were basically um, hacked and there was a bunch of crypto scams happening. She reached out to you to support. And I think um, there's a point where you two kind of like took down the channels to handle shit, but... I guess the during the crypto stuff, right? When the crypto live streams and stuff were happening, people were like, what the fuck? I didn't suffer this. News very quickly. I did not get Alicia X Life back. My original channel, my baby that I've been having for the very long time. And I've been uploading three videos a day for the past God knows how many years. And this is the craziest shit. She got her second channel back. But she can't get her main channel back. Because YouTube is so stupid. And their product support the way that they do client support, like, it, it's, it, it's like arguing with the robot until you get a real person, but that real person, I don't think even has a fucking brain cell. Like, how the fuck do you confirm that the second channel is okay to be reinstated, but the first channel isn't? They're linked to the same probably AdSense account. What do you fucking mean? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen next. She got it back, I though. just want them to give me my damn channel back. Main channel is back at <laughs> this point. That's about it. Because I applied for my same way that I applied to get this channel back. I applied for Alicia X Life. Same, same thing. But <laughs> I guess somebody had a bad morning because they did not give me my other channel back yet. I'm like, is, are they just being petty? There's no way. I, I just think it's just gross negligence and incompetence. I'm still going to keep pushing them and pushing them and pushing them until I get Alicia X Life back. For now, you'll just have this channel, Alicia X Death. Hopefully it happens within the next 24 hours because I'm mad as hell. Okay, now let's go to the step-by-step -step of how I got hacked, what was the follow-up aftermath of me getting hacked, and finally, what's happening to the content on this channel. Okay. Let's get into it. Part one. Yes, I got hacked. I did not get hacked through a sponsorship email. And this was my assumption as well. Because the last time something like this happened to a reaction channel, it was for your boy Roshi. Your boy Roshi got hacked, and there was a bunch of crypto scam stuff being um, uh, promoted on that channel. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? After reading some tweets by our boy Roshi, it turns out that their sponsorship email that they received looked so legitimate. It was just so perfect. Nothing about it seemed fishy at all after it being just like reviewed by others. And that was it. So the sponsorship email was why your boy Roshi, I think, got hacked. And I think that's what a lot of other people were assuming happened to Alicia as well. No. I did not get hacked through a Discord message. I did not get hacked through normal means. I got hacked by something 
that was revolutionary to hacking. Oh. Something that's done on a very particular hit. Revolutionary. That was really well placed. Okay. So yes, to all, all of right. you speculating on your little VTuber news channels, shut <laughs> the <fuck> up. <laughs> Go off, queen. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many fucking random VTuber channel news were just like spreading misinformation and lies and she probably like, oh, you dumb motherfucker. You got no clue what's happening. Enjoy your couple of thousand views. <laughs> okay, stop lying or just ask me. That's the better thing. Just ask me how I got hacked. I don't mind. I kept trying to put out tweets to update people, but I didn't want to say how I got hacked originally, just in case there's a witch hunt going to happen. Witch hunt? Maybe wondering, what do you mean by witch hunt? Witch hunt. Well, what happened was, is that an, a smaller creator, a smaller VTuber reached out okay. to me asking to do a collab. Okay. I was like, you know what? I would love to support like smaller creators in the scene, especially like the up and comers. I was okay. there at one point too. Right. Small VTuber reaching out to Alicia. Let's collab. And the witch hunt has to do with the small VTuber. Did she fuck up? So let's do it. Let's support a smaller creator and let's do a collab with them. A lot of the time in a lot of like collaborations, especially when there's a sponsor involved, yeah. they want to do a signed contract where you kind of like, agree to split the funds yeah. and split the money on the, like, on the sponsorship. Right? DocuSign. This is very common in the VTuber space. You do a thing called DocuSign, which is a very public platform. That's the one. So we're going through it back and forth, talking about it, negotiating, doing all that cool stuff and all the fun stuff. Then their account got hacked. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So Alicia didn't get hacked First, the smaller VTuber that was reaching out to collab got hacked. Okay. They went on their second account, their second Twitter. Okay. Tweeted that they got hacked, but blocked me. Crucify this bitch. All right. <laughs> you fucking retard you 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 approach her to collab she is nice enough to say yes you do some stupid shit and get yourself hacked sure mistakes happen but you go on your alt account and say you got hacked but then you block alicia on main what well, it's like a, it's like a dumb stupid kid that like you know, spilled a bunch of milk on the floor or some shit, or broke a bunch of, you know, important fucking uh, Voss or uh, shit at uh, the uh, house, and they're just, trying, they're just trying to put a fucking rug over it. It didn't happen. Oh, I, I don't know. Rather than telling me that they got hacked, <laughs> they blocked me. That's crazy. So I ended up talking to a hacker. That's crazy. And then Alicia is talking to the, to the VTuber girl, but... She got hacked and she's talking to a hacker and then this is where I get hacked. Who read through our previous conversation. Bruh. Using that information from our previous conversation. Bruh. They were like, oh, sorry, I can't get you the contract today. It'll have to be tomorrow. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. So they spoof a DocuSign link and spoof a DocuSign page. This is so sweaty. It happens so that it's not interactable, right? So... I click Th this hack is actually so sweaty. Click on the link to go to the DocuSign and realize it's blurred out saying I'm not logged in. But I'm like, wait, I should always be logged in when it comes to my Google account because uh -oh. I'm always logged uh -oh. into DocuSign, right? It should just prompt me for it if, if anything else. So instead of hitting the login button, I turn around and I just message them and go, hey, can you just email it to me instead? DocuSign's being weird. And that was it. <laughs> we're cooked. I got cooked. That's it. That was it. I, I, that, I, I'm not completely sure exactly which process of this, you know, that she got also hacked, but it, it's the private information that was all shared through that smaller creator. The DocuSign link that she was using, but now she got kind of kicked off. The, sh the email information is also, all, of course, all just given. And that's it. And I never told this originally in my first time of telling you guys I got hacked in the first few days because I didn't want to witch hunt after this VTuber. She is such a nice, kind person. Dude, if this was me, dude, I would have fucking crucified that. Oh my god. Like, it's, it's, it's not even like the fact that she made a mistake and got hacked. That's fine. Mistakes can happen. Own up to your mistake and be like, hey, Alicia, in the middle of her fucking collaboration and, and assigning some shit, I got hacked. And there's a lot of private information that is, you know, vulnerable. And you need to be aware of this. This is what she should have immediately messaged. But, but, but she blocked. Now, I, 
right? Something is suspicious here, right? And is it just me or does this feel very, very suspicious? You tell me the hacker just happened to know that Alicia and the small creator was collabing? Like, are, are you serious? Like, th th something about this feels off, right? Right. Because I was mad that she didn't have the decency to just tell me she got hacked. Right? By the way, if your accounts ever get compromised and you're talking to people about something important like a job, know. just tell them. Right? But my theory is, not okay. confirmed, that maybe she got nervous because I'm a larger content creator that I'd blame her for getting hacked. Alicia's so kind. She is so kind. See, I always assume the absolute worst out of people. And my theory right now is that this is a fucking targeted hit from the smaller creator and the hacker. The timing is way too specific. Why the fuck would the hacker just... Go after the little person first. There's a couple different scenarios where this could happen. Maybe their collaboration and, you know, the opportunity was a public knowledge thing. And an orbiter in, around that space, a hacker, knew about that potential and realized that, okay, I know that Alicia is really big. And even though this small creator isn't, I can use this smaller creator to get to Alicia. Definitely, that could be one possibility if... It was public knowledge, right, that, like, they were about to collab. But if this is all hidden behind the scenes, how the fuck does this just happen by chance? I don't blame you if you're watching this video. I do not blame you for me getting hacked. I will blame her for you, Alicia! I'm sorry. She probably doesn't want, like, which pitchforks out, but I'm, I'm, I'm just too fucking mad at this. I only blame you for your follow-up actions. Message me. It's okay. Getting hacked happens to everybody. It's okay. It happens to a lot of people. Even happens to your grandmas. Okay? So mm -hmm. it's fine. Just don't be a dickhead and tell people when you're hacked. Don't crazy block shit. them from the information. So Blocking is the craziest part. Like, what the fuck? What's their logic? It's straight up is like a child. Like, spilling fucking orange milk on the carpet before mom gets home and trying to fucking cover it up with some thousands. Like, oh, nothing happened. I don't know what fucking happened. You're making the situation worse. So they can't even know. So, the, yes, that's how I got hacked. That's how I didn't even know what was happening in the next step of it until I was logged into my IRL Twitter. And they didn't block me on that one. And that's how I found out they were hacked. So And that's where stupid. the source of the hack came from. So. Phase two. These phase hackers two. did phase not two. hack this person's account except for their Twitter. Why? Because they knew that this smaller creator was an up and comer. Yeah. They didn't have any views on their YouTube. Exactly. There is nothing to gain from hacking the smaller creator, but there's a lot to gain by using the smaller creator who's about to collab with the bigger creator. But if this is not public knowledge, how the Fuck, does this just happen? This is such a well-timed, orchestrated hack. There is no way that this is a coincidence. Didn't have any views on their Twitch, but they're following and followed back by other popular creators. That makes me even more fucking mad. That makes me even more fucking mad. This small creator who was so stupid that got Alicia hacked is also a Nepo child. I hate this shit. I've never been given handouts in my life. Everything I had to fucking grind from the ground up, taking scraps, just, just everything, just inching my way, clawing my way. And you, you have popular friends in the same space supporting you, vouching for you. You get this opportunity of a lifetime. Then you do this shit. So I went through the people they followed back and I started messaging each of them to be like, hey, just a heads up, this person got hacked in case you didn't know. Which a lot of them didn't know! Crazy. <laughs> so I'm like... Why is it my job? Because you're so... Just Stupid. tell people. Just tell people. Anyways, don't witch hunt. Alright? I, I literally have my pitchfork out right now. I am so fucking mad on behalf of Alicia. Don't witch hunt. I just don't care enough, okay? I care! That's the honesty here. Because oh what we my should God, really be dude. mad at is the, ha the hacker i guess and youtube hackers and youtube that's the two things that we should yep. be mad at here so let's talk about that the hackers obviously crypto scam bros you've seen ripple time and time again 
promoted by crypto hacking scam mm -hmm. bros 24 7 here on youtube it's happened to your favorite creators it's happened to smaller creators it doesn't matter who you are they come after you so in addition to that they got me they got my ass they got both my channels lishex life lishex death you're watching lishex death right now and <sighs> youtube 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 i've had friends such as takahata friend of the channel who said he got his channel back back in the day when tfs got hacked in 16 hours i've had friends of my editor and acquaintances of my editor who got their channel back in 48 hours your boy roshi also got their channel back in a timely manner i think they told me five days five days i said this is messed up this is my job this is my income i have people who work for me this is crazy right so i tweeted about it you guys have been amazing on twitter bugging the hell out of youtube to push them to do something which sucks because that's the only way to get youtube to actually move faster on things it's, it's crazy and if you have no presence online how will you as a small creator ever get youtube to listen honestly um Yes, YouTube is grossly negligent, negligent oftentimes and just, you know, has automated responses, which is not helpful at all. But their YouTube support on Twitter is relatively active and does reach out to you despite your Twitter following or YouTube size. They, they will get to you, but quite often it's automated responses that's not helpful. You need a real person to actually be understanding what the case by case scenario is. Is to bug them on Twitter. So we did that. Next thing you know, they tell me. We'll be back in 48 hours in the email. Don't worry. 48 hours, we got you. You may have noticed my channel's been gone for a week, so definitely not 48 hours. Bruh. Then I get a follow-up email to that later on saying, oh, it's going to take 7 to 14 days. Bruh. What happened? What happened? I have no clue. What do you mean 7 to 14 days? What? <laughs> and you might be like, okay, well, this is like frustrating, but at least you'll get your channel back. There's one step that was further. One step oh. that was catastrophic to my mental health for the past week. Oh? They hacked my AdSense. Google AdSense. Oh, boy. If you don't know, let's let Alicia explain. It's basically how you get paid. It's basically the way you get paid through YouTube. Yep. They have access to my tax information. Like, legal information. If you haven't opened up an LLC, like, if you, if, if you can basically register as, like, a sole proprietor. Like as an individual person, that's what a lot of people do. You can also open the assets under a different business name in an LLC. And if you do that, you can obfuscate your personal information because you don't have to write down your actual address and shit like that. But if you're a sole proprietor and you're doing that shit, you're basically doxing yourself. Because, you know, if you want to do payment and stuff like that in online business, the information needs to be shared. And if the hacker has your AdSense, they have a lot of critical information about you. Where I live, and also the money I made for the entire month. That monthly payment. If she's locked out for that long, if AdSense cannot be returned before, like a, a, a fun fact, it's the 21st. Every month, I believe it's around the 21st that YouTube pays out. So, when she got hacked, the timing, it kind of lines up, right? Like, shit. That whole month of revenue from both channels probably, right? Yeah, like, devastating timing indeed, huh? Devastating. But do you think that this is a coincidence? The more I think about this, the more I realize it's way too specific. Bro, not only was this orchestrated by using another quote-unquote small creator, which I honestly think at this point could be the fucking hacker, it also happened right before AdSense is paying out the monthly revenue. Something about this feels way too specific. Over 120 videos I posted, they got the income. It's crazy, right? bro. But Google is a trillion dollar company. Yeah, surely they can figure their shit out, right? They have so much money and resources and hopefully the infrastructure to, you know, prevent AdSense from paying out to a different fucking entire, like, a person. Like, surely they can't fuck this up, right? <laughs> so I just said, hey, can you freeze it? Yeah. Not pay it. Pay me later. Yeah. I get my money. That's totally fair. That's very easy. 
it's happened, I think, before too. For not even these kind of situations, but getting your assets account freeze, like frozen, that's a that's honestly does not take much effort. It's a literal fucking button. Either way, I better get my damn money because you you acknowledge there's hackers prior to the date the payout happens. That's the craziest shit too. YouTube support is aware, but the people that's responsible for, you know, I guess pausing, you know, freezing AdSense because there's so many people. And here's the thing, right? You would think that a trillion dollar fucking company could have this shit figured out. You would think that a company with so much fucking money could have this shit figured out. Do you know why YouTube support and often these different things, they just hit you with an automated email? Because it's kind of counterintuitive. The bigger you get, the harder it is to manage and directly support your customers. It's just such a great, it's a, it's, it's, it's a stupid amount of volume and scale that YouTube as is just can't keep up. So it's very frustrating and it shouldn't be happening. But logically, it kind of does make sense why you have to hound them over and over again on Twitter, trying to get so much, you need to make so much fucking noise for a real person to actually show up. Right? They emailed me confirming your account has been compromised and hijacked prior to the date of the payment. So I should be fine. Should be. Right? Right. Should. Don't worry. Nothing went bad there. The problem is, is that as soon as I got hacked, oh, sorry. Good part about me getting hacked, though. Good part. As soon as I got hacked, I instantly paid off all my workers for the entire month. Damn. Like, if anything happens, I want you to be covered. I want Sugar anyone mama. to be stressed over, over this. Damn. Next, I moved all my money, all my financials into my fiance stuff. Smart. That way, I won't have to worry about any of my, my accounts getting screwed over. Smart. Three, I started a thing called a hackathon over on Twitch. <laughs> a hackathon? As a former software engineer, hackathons are basically these events. Usually it happens in like, you know, two days where you spend, you know, all night just programming, trying to create this minimal viable product that you want to pitch during the presentation day to portray, you know, your application that solves some problem, which is the theme of the hackathon. Where I started live streaming every single day at 9 p.m. EST to help kind of alleviate the pressure that was going on. I took a lot of that money from there and a lot of the money from my surge of Patreon homies, because that's right, I have a Patreon as well. I had a surge of people join the Patreon, took all that money, slammed it into paying off my workers Damn. for the next month. And but she paid her workers not a month ahead, but two months ahead. God damn. God damn. Not one month, two months of advanced payment because she is that much of a good person thinking for the others, right? I'm sure she's well off, but the important employees, you know, the money is very important. To give them two months ahead, that is... In case anything bad happens, I wanted them to be covered for November as well. Sugar mama. That's what I did. So, covered. Now, the thing that kind of hurts... Oh, sorry, one more thing on top of that too, actually, was that medically, you might be wondering about my medical stuff. Don't worry, Alicia ain't dying. Because what okay. I did was, is literally the same day. Oh, sorry, it would have been the next day. Whenever my doctor's office was able to take my call. I called them up. Well, my surgeon's office, actually, because it's different. Anyways. So I called my surgeon's office and I was like, hey, heads up. Um, I need to get my meds sooner than later. Blah, 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 blah is happening. They're like, cool, we can put it down that you're going on vacation. And then that way, because like our system doesn't really acknowledge it the other way. So we can put it down that you're going on vacation. We'll get your medication early. You can pay it early and have it. I was like, perfect. Because a bitch still needs her cancer treatment. And that's the thing. If you don't know, she is a person that is fighting cancer. Yeah, YouTube. You almost fucked me so bad that I couldn't get my meds if you delayed it any longer. Bruh. Which, by the way, there's one med in particular I have to take that's 1,500 milligrams that battles my cancer. If I don't take that every day, it's a f problem. So, that, that money means a lot. You might see that I'm a little bit mad right now. I am this mad. level of heated because just now I found out they approved my Alicia X death channel, which you're watching, and declined my Alicia X life channel. That's the craziest shit! How do you approve the second channel but deny? It's, it's, it's not even like it's paused and it's still investigating. They denied. 
they declined the main channel. How stupid could they be? It's under the same fucking brand account. It's under the same assets information. I, I, what is the logic? Is a real human actually looking over this? We're scamming. Can you believe it? The same hackers who hacked both the channels through the same email, they approved one, not the other. So we'll see what happens next, but I'm going to keep pushing as much as I possibly can until I get my update. She got her main channel back account back because I refuse to let this go. I refuse to let hackers win. All right. In addition to that, again, if you want to report about what's happening to me ever, just ask. Don't make up stories. Don't just read my tweets word for word with no VTuber additional news. bullshit. Like, come on, man. As a reaction content creator, real recognize real. Just like say something. <laughs> Don't read my tweets verbatim and be like, hmm. I have no input. <laughs> what? <laughs> At least like. I think we're still talking about those, you know, VTuber news channels right now. That's spreading misinformation. Like, ask me follow up questions if you want to add something to your video or something. I'm very accessible when it comes to like tweeting at me. Right. Anyways, <laughs> so I've been having frustration with that because there's been such bad misinformation and bullshit from the VTuber news side of the community that my fans have been reaching out to me with like false information, stuff Bruh. that just isn't true to my scenario. It's honestly very frustrating when people just go out and like, if you want to farm content, sure, but at least do your due diligence, right? At least do your due diligence and understand exactly what's going on and don't spread misinformation, which is going to make some other people look even more worse, right? Like, I totally get it. I'd be so mad. Because they heard it from a VTuber news channel. I don't, I don't know. There's only one VTuber news channel that I actually fuck with pretty heavy when it came to reporting about my situation. They did YouTube shorts on it. And shout out to you, homie. You were a real one because you reported it super well, super accurately. Like you actually watch my content. Like you actually know who I am. The other people have never seen me a day in their life. No shot. Because they have no idea what I do or who I am. <laughs> They're just there for the quick engagement, right? They just see, oh, someone got hacked. Drama. Let's read the tweets. I have no clue what's happening, but here's my bullshit opinion. That's probably misinformation. Right? They're just doing because they want the views quickly. But the one person who made the YouTube shorts about me, you do know me. And I really, really appreciate that. Because you talked about my hackathon. You talked about everything else that was going on about my Patreon supporting that. Shout you were out. like, justice for Alicia. You were so sweet. And I really, really loved that. I wanted to take the time to thank you in particular. Because there's some mofuckers out here who are actually like, just a massive W. Right? And if you ever got questions for me in particular, I forget your username. But if, I got you. No matter what, I got you in particular. Everybody else know. <laughs> there were some cute channels, though, that were just fans of my community. Who also put out like streams or put out videos talking about how much like they need to support me. I appreciate that too. Don't get it twisted. I appreciate those of you who actually watch my content who want to support me. I appreciate those of you who reported properly. I don't appreciate mofuckers making up bullshit to make a to make a VTuber news video. Come on, man, don't be crazy. I wish you would just put them on blast and specifically name those channels. On the internet, that's not okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's about that. So now you've heard about how the hack happened, the money situation, yep. which by the way, I want to make it very, very, very clear. The money that I've lost during this time, the money that I did not garner during this time, it's okay. All right. I am not dying without the money. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to like read her pockets, but like she does really well. She, she, she kills it. Not only on the YouTube side, not on Twitch and Patreon. She's absolutely killing it missing a month payment does suck for sure but it's not going to be the end of the world she's doing fine i've had i have savings i have money invested as well and in addition to that was that the support through twitch and patreon has helped me massively during this time i even had a savings in case anything bad ever happened this was one of the situations the only thing that really broke my heart which i don't want to get emotional during this because i kind of cried about it before with my fiance but past two years i've been fighting cancer and we had to delay our wedding delay trying having kids and delay getting a house because of that because i just can't do anything <laughs> right so i've been working my ass off instead because i want to pump out videos have a lot of laughs make a lot of content get down tonight you know what i'm saying and i've been on my grind and it's been really amazing being on my grind she's honestly one of the most inspiring people man genuinely like one of the things that you take for advantage on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're able-bodied, is your health. 
just like that, it can go away. My mom, I'm pretty sure has gone through the same shit that Alicia has. And I know exactly what it's like to be seeing a person in that kind of situation to have no energy. You, you, you just turn into a kahalo. You, you, the, 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 the chemotherapy, the different medication you have to take, you can barely eat. You can barely like sustain yourself, right? It's so fucking hard to just function as a human being. These are things that you take for advantage. And she's out here grinding every single day. And she does it really fucking well too. And on top of that, one of the things that I don't think people really understand is that she's nerfed. Not in terms of the health, but in terms of how a VTuber making reactions, it, it's actually very disadvantageous for like having a VTuber rig. When you're watching like, you know, a flesh tuber like me, the physical humor, the, the, the faces we make, right? It, it translates directly. For a VTuber, it's hard. You need to have different toggles and different things to kind of portray a different set of emotions, right? But despite that barrier of physical, you know, humor, she pumps out content with great commentary, which just creates such amazing content. So it's just, I have tremendous respect for Alicia. And I was looking forward to 2025 being the year that I can finally have a baby. I can beat cancer. I can have my wedding and I can get a house. <laughs> I think she's still going to do all those things. And the fear I have with Alicia X Life not being reinstated yet, which it will be. I will keep pushing till it's mm -hmm. reinstated. And it has been. Um, my fear of when they took over my Google AdSense, my fear of like the instability of this made me like lose my shit to my fiance where I was like, what if I have to wait another year? Right. Which again, it's not detrimental to my life. I'm fine. I'm existing. I'm living. I'm okay. But it's hard when you're in a place like battling cancer where you're so fucking depressed and like the only three things you look forward to besides beating cancer is getting a house, having a baby, and getting married. <laughs> I delayed it for two years and if because of YouTube I would have to delay it a third year, I was going to lose it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so... <laughs> That was probably the thing that hurt the most. But again, do not feel the need to donate to me. There's no dire situation here that I will lose my life without it. No, it's none of that dramatic bullshit. It's just, it's something that goes towards what makes me happy in my future. She That's is all. so strong. I've got man. extra doubloons to share. Sure, man, throw it my way. I love a little extra squeesh. But don't ever feel pressured like, oh my God, we need to do this for Alicia. She's dying. No. I mean, cancer is kicking my ass a little bit, but I'm okay for the most part. <laughs> it's actually not. I'm the fact that she can joke about this is it's a good sign. And it does feel helpless sometimes where, you know, you, you think that because you quit your full-time job and you're pursuing content creation full-time and you feel like you're liberated, at the end of the day, you're still kind of within the hands of these corporations, these platforms like YouTube, right? Where this bullshit can just happen. <laughs> It could just go away. Now, thank God it didn't. And the proper measures has been taken place that she's recovered all her shit at this current point in time. But just imagine just that like idea, the grim reminder that like, oh shit, like this could be it. Like I have nothing else. Like this is my entire source of my livelihood. Now it could just be taken away due to this bullshit moment. And the worst part is that YouTube themselves, the platform that I'm creating content and that I'm making money for, and, and you need to understand, like, of course, that we get paid in ad revenue, but YouTube gets a huge fucking chunk of the portion. They are so negligent. They're so poor with just handling customer support, right? It, it, it's just so frustrating when YouTube honestly feels like they're on the fucking hacker side, you know? We're doing pretty well health-wise right now. Um, my main mass is gone, which I guess confused some people online where they thought I was in remission. I'm not. My main mass of cancer is gone. I have three in total. So there's two malignant spots still left that aren't gone because they're embedded in my muscle and they still need time. Malignant, I think, is not the same as... There's like a benign, right? No, that's a different term, I think. Through my treatment. Now, the main mass is gone, which is why I've been walking. If you've seen my Twitter updates and my social media Aww. updates, I've been walking almost she got daily a doggo? without my walker, without a wheelchair, going further and further each day. And my body's becoming more physically able because the larger mass is gone and my nice. body's starting to like heal. So that might have confused people. I'm still technically fighting. 
but things are looking really good for my fight with cancer. I hope that answered almost any and all of your questions. <laughs> Please don't speculate on what's going on with me because you spreading misinformation to my audience really, really sucks. And it got so bad that I had to put out a tweet to explain one of these VTubers videos where she like yeah. made a second follow-up video to me that just didn't <laughs> make sense. So I <laughs> they farm two videos back to back misinformation. The second video is probably like covering her ass, right? I hear that Alicia like commented on one and the second video might've been like, oh, actually, um, I, I did no wrong. I, I meant good intentions. I had to put a second, I put to put another tweet out Bruh. to explain why their video was wrong. It just, Bruh. stop it. <laughs> VTuber news people, get it together. Ask me the question. It's not that hard to reach out to me. I reply to tweets all the time. Anyways, <laughs> for those of you fans who are confused about my situation, this is the whole rundown. Part one, how I got hacked. Part two, the YouTube angry side, me being angry at hacker side. Number three, dang homie, I don't... I, if I had to push my wedding for another year, I'm fighting God for real. And by God, I mean the YouTube algorithm. And uh, now for let's talk about this on a little bit of a brighter note. My YouTube okay. channel, Alicia X Death, is back. My channel is now plagued against YouTube. I will not be showing up in people's recommended. On yeah, I don't know how this shit works. Because um, obviously when things are good, you know, your content's constantly getting recommended. You make good content. Your audience you know, enjoys it. You just keep growing and scaling up. But when you get banned, when you get all your shit just gone and then you come back i wonder if if you're like leap if you just kind of start where you left off or you kind of have to start from scratch unless you share the video the only way to combat it is by youtube's algorithm and youtube as a system because their content policy system yes, works sir. in this way the more a video gets shared the more it's deemed appropriate no no she didn't get removed from the algo and the algorithm at the end of the day is basically the audience right who her audience is as long as people know alicia and they're enjoying her content she's gonna do well she's just talking about this whole sharing mechanic right now to share to others so whenever you click share on this video and share it to more people the better which by the way if you want to share it to our reaction content hey that's me i mean i've been kind of told to watch this video too but this is the link it's her second channel, and she got her main channel back. Don't worry, I'll be linking all that shit later. Creator, go for it. That's totally fine with me. I'm always okay with people reacting to my content. What I'm not okay with is lying about the shit that I do or what's going on with me. Right? If you be a news channel, just act, act be accurate. <laughs> but if you want to react, to VTuber news channel ain't ever been the allegations. I mean, that's totally fine. Say whatever you gotta say. I love you, homies. You know the usual. I'm fine with you reacting to my stuff because I'm a reaction content creator. It'd be very hypocritical to say not to react to my stuff, right? So <laughs> go for it. And hey, if you do react to my stuff, at me. I'll check okay. it out. I'll come say hi in your comments. All right. <laughs> Unless you're mean. I'm pretty mean. <laughs> Anyways. I'm pretty um, mean. I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I'm back. I'm here. What up? Don't forget to subscribe. A lot of you have unsubscribed during the time I got hacked, which is fair enough. Let's get these numbers back. Let's push for 200K. And God damn it, let's, let's push go. for me to get my other channel, Alicia X Life, back. And it's back now. Because I got a lot of videos for you on there. We're covering Marvel. Oh, We're shit. covering Star Wars. Oh, We're shit. covering goddamn Lord of the Rings soon. What? And all that content coming up. So we better push for it. But That's hey, a lot. I want to say thank you for sticking around for me. Thank you for being excited. And hopefully we got better news coming up. See you later. And she literally Bye. does. And that's pretty much it. What a well-spoken person. One take. She's incredibly very like articulate with her words. And I, and maybe Alicia won't like this, right? But I'm still just fucking upset about that smaller VTuber who got her in this mess. And the more I think about it, the more I realize the timing, right? Right before the AdSense payout the coincidence of how the hacker simply just knew that the small creator was going to collab with the big creator without this being potentially you know public knowledge that i don't know that's my assumption right something about this is so fucking fishy to the point that i could even think that maybe the hacker is the small creator or the small creator and the hacker are colluding into this shit what makes it even worse is that the small creator apparently is a prominent member in their friend group of other creators and that's why she had this you know clout the nepotism to even get on you know alicia's radar which fucking pisses me off because she literally she literally it was a helping hand
she fucking reached out to help a smaller person and she got burned for it and it's honestly seeming very it looks malicious that, that's what i'm trying it looks very malicious i know that witch hunt is bad for sure but i'm just so fucking frustrated and upset on her behalf even if she doesn't want me to it, it's just it's just fucking absolutely bullshit but hey this is the video please go give it a like and you you've heard what she said right go check out her channels i'm sure she's gonna you know be back and she's killing it already here's the main channel right hold up hold up and this is the main channel. She basically made an update. I didn't watch this one because I don't think this one, you know, explains. Here's the main channel. Like, this one ex explains, you know, exactly what's going on. But you know what I realized? At the end of the day, we still don't really know how she got quote-unquote hacked. Because she got hacked since the smaller creator got hacked. But we don't know how the smaller creator got hacked. You know what I mean? I feel like the, uh, the mystery, the conspiracy theories... They cooking. It ain't over just yet.